Welcome. In this video, we'll explore Grosspeat. Grosspeat has played a central role in music production workflows worldwide. It is a widely used audio manipulation tool that can create real-time, time-synchronized stutter, glitch, reverse, pitch shift, scratching, and gating effects. It has been cloned and emulated multiple times, becoming a staple in modern music production. Grow Speed saves incoming audio into a rolling audio buffer. The scratching clock shows playback position in that buffer and can be automated for sequences longer than one bar. You can play back that audio in any way you like, including vinyl-like scratching techniques. There are 36 time and volume envelopes in a bank. Play forward, backward, slow, fast, or skip between sections of the audio and change the level as you want. Grosspeat manipulates audio playback with the time envelope. Right-click anywhere to add points to the envelope. Click and press the delete key on your keyboard to delete points. Shift right-click to add a point that is exactly on the vertical position of the existing graph. Right-click tension handles to reset them. Select multiple points by drawing a box with Control, Shift, Click and Drag. Grosspeat also offers snap positions based on fractions of beats or quarter notes on the left-hand side. The envelope allows seamless control over the playhead's position within the audio buffer. A horizontal line represents normal playback. The vertical position determines the start and end points within the audio. The diagonal safety line shows the safe area for mapping envelopes during the first bar of the audio coming in. The area above the safety line and behind the position of the playhead has buffered audio, while the area below does not. If the time mapping envelope goes below the safety line or on it, before Grosspeed's playhead reaches that point, you'll hear silence. If you set your second point halfway between the line and horizontal, you get exactly half speed playback. So any line that has this angle will cause the audio to be played at half speed. When you make a diagonal line from corner to corner, you'll get exactly the same playback speed as a horizontal line, but the buffer plays in reverse. So now we've established that the angle of the graph determines playback speed and pitch. Therefore, to play something quicker than real time, use an upwards angle. This means you can't start playback at the beginning of the graph or at the beginning of the buffer, but it is possible to start later in the buffer. Then you can use upwards angles and have things play twice as fast or even faster. Horizontal lines represent normal or 100% playback speed. Lines parallel to the safety line on the grid mean playback is stopped or 0% speed. And lines parallel to the top left and bottom right diagonal mean reversed playback, minus 100% speed. So lines halfway between 100% positive or negative are half 50% playback speed. In other words, forward and reverse, one octave lower. You will notice that the angle for 200% forward playback is a mirror of the safety line. Right-click breakpoints in the time envelope and choose one semitone up and down options for precise pitch adjustments. As the angle of the lines determines pitch, curved lines will pitch bend. A line that increases in angle relative to the buffer start line will bend up in pitch. And one that decreases in angle will bend down in pitch. Experiment with different curve types to achieve different results. Since horizontal lines mean normal playback in the forwards direction, the stairs curve type will create stuttering as they jump relocate the playhead when used with breakpoints parallel to the buffer line. In any other configuration, it will cause grains to be played at original pitch from the first to the second breakpoint. 
useful for old school time stretching sound alike artifacts. And when you use smooth stairs, you're instantly in scratching territory as you get speeding up and slowing down in rapid succession. There are settings that relate to envelope processing below the time mix knob. Most importantly, click reduction. Choose between off, subtle and strong click reduction for time envelope changes. Most material will not need this setting to be changed, but the lower in pitch your audio is, the likelier it is that there will be click artifacts. Smoothing attack compensation shifts the volume envelope ahead a couple samples so transients moved by buffer relocation events in the time envelope can be heard. HQ resampling turns on sync interpolation, which improves the audio quality of pitch shifted audio at the expense of increased CPU load. Remember, Grow Speed originally came out in 2009, so that's extra CPU load you probably won't even notice today so it's fine to have this on by default. And view scratching clock shows and hides the scratching clock. You can edit the volume envelope the same way you edit the time envelope. Click here to switch between volume and time envelopes. Whatever you're editing in the envelope section is displayed on the left side. For instance, I am now editing the volume envelope and slot one is selected. So I'm editing this slot. I can choose another, by left-clicking it with my mouse. Don't worry, this does not reset the changes I've made to slot 1. I am now editing slot 2, which has a white rectangle around it and is empty. Right-click a slot to rename and move it. The volume envelope has three special knobs that are smoothing controls applied to the volume mapping envelopes. They are useful for applying global tweaks to the volume dynamics of all volume mappings. Attack smoothest rising edges of the envelope from 0 up to 500 milliseconds. Release smoothest falling edges of the envelope from 0 milliseconds to 1 second. And tension will add a variable slope between attack and release phases. It uses the same maths as the single curved line type, but it will apply that to the existing values in the envelope. Alternatively, if you're using single curve lines only, you can also edit all tension handles manually by selecting all points and moving one of the handles. You can also automate which slot is selected from this menu. Use hold type automation points to step sequence slot selection. You can see slots currently playing are being filled in the time of one bar. Slots 1 to 36 are pre-assigned to MIDI keys and can be switched live from your controller keyboard. like to control volume and time envelopes at the same time, you can link them with the link button down here. It's good to set your preset up like that from the get-go if this type of live performance is what you want to do. One thing that is used a lot as a fill in modern music is emulating a tape or vinyl stop that is synchronized to the tempo of the song. For that, simply add growth speed on the sounds you want to apply tape stop to, add a line that looks like this, and automate the time mix up when it's needed. Additionally, you can add a volume envelope to mute the sound once it gets too low in pitch. Perfect. Lots of classic jungle and drum and bass tracks used early samplers and very early time stretching technology to spice up breakbeat loops. You can emulate this rhythmically with growth speed, like so. In a 
lot of trap music, Gross Beat is used to quickly add a layer to melodic elements that plays at half speed and one octave lower. We've already shown how to do this at the beginning of the video, but here is that technique in context. When you're using a 4 on the floor drum pattern, you can use gross beat to make a detailed volume ducking envelope for every element that needs to be ducked under the kick drum. Since the pattern is one bar long, you can design the first beat and then copy and paste the points like so. Dance music often uses rhythmic gating effects on sustained sounds to mute and unmute the audio quickly, resulting in a drastic change in groove and dynamics when turned on. You can also use drum loops to quickly generate a gating envelope for you by dragging and dropping the sample on a volume envelope. This will convert the sample's amplitudes into envelope points for the volume envelope. Handy! As we noted at the beginning, line angle represents playback speed and pitch. Since a flanger is a very slightly detuned copy mixed in with the original audio, it is possible to repurpose gross beat as a flanger when you make a really small vertical change in the time envelope so that the resulting angle is almost horizontal, but not quite. Use the time mix to mix in the detuned copy. And check out the flanging preset that has a couple of patterns for this use case already. And that's all you really need to know about Growspeed to get started using it in your own productions. Don't forget to check out the video information for helpful links to the user manual and the demo projects used in this tutorial. Happy music making!